Hi, my name's Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my ArconCAD podcast 077. I'm going to try and do something a little bit different with this podcast. I'm going to give away some of my old training from my short sharp training. This is an old movie. It's all about simple roofs and roof framer. But if you're using Vectorworks uh, 10 or 11 or 12, you might find this movie really useful. Vectorworks roof. So I've opened up the file called roof1.sta. Click on this roof and you have these blue handles. Click on this handle, make that into a gable. Click on this handle, going to make that into a gable as well. Click on this handle, and it makes it into a gable. Now this is real similar to the split gable that you've uh, done so far. Except when you click on this handle and make that a gable, it changes the roof and makes it that shape. Now you may think that that's just a wee bit funny having that little bit of roof sticking out there. So what I'm going to do is choose my 2D reshape tool and you notice all the handles change on the roof. If I click on that handle and pull it down the screen vertically, you notice it's reshaped my roof and in 3D it's changed it to that shape. Now you might find that hard to see so I'm just going to scroll down here and turn off my gable end walls and you can see it's created my roof with that uh, roof plane there. So I've got now a, a bit of roof overhanging, maybe there's an entry in there. If you want to make your walls fit the roof, you can go to AEC, fit walls to roof, and now my walls are fitting that roof shape. Pretty neat. So here's my roof. Once again I've opened the file roof01.sta and I have a roof. Now I'm going to use the roof framing tools you can only use this if you have the architect or designer versions of Vectorworks. So AEC, Framing, Roof Framer. And there's my Roof Framer dialog box. If I want to create rafters I have to tick it first. Let's have a look to see what rafter size I've got. I can edit the list. I can delete one. Or I can add one. Now this will create a text file that you can edit in a text editor to check all these sizes. Let's look at beams. I don't want to. Uh, some places these are called collar ties. I don't want a plates. I don't want purlins. In some countries that's called an under purlin because it's going to go underneath the rafters. I might want the ridge. So yes, create the ridge. And let's edit this list here. And I want to remove these. And I want to add one of my own sizes. So 90 by 190 millimeters. OK, choose that from the list. So this is flush to the top or it's notched into the rafters. I'm going to have them flush to the top. You can put these on a class if you want. And if your class dialog box doesn't have the right classes in it, you can open the class dialog box. You can add a new class. Call it roof. Framing. There's an OK button here, so click OK on that. So now I can choose roof framing as a class for that. And for my rafters, I can choose roof framing as well. So when it frames the roof, those roof framing members will be assigned to the roof framing class. I don't want any trimmers, but I do want uh, hips and valleys. Put that on roof framing as well. And let's edit this list. OK. Vectorworks will now calculate on my roof framing. It does the best it can to line up uh, rafters from one side of the roof to the other. No, I don't want to save it. And there it is. There's my roof. So I'm just going to delete the walls and delete the roof and see if I can make it easier for you to see. So there it is. Let's just colour that in. And so you can see there's my roof and my roof framing and it's notched my valley and my hip rafters. Thanks for watching and I hope that was some use for you. Thanks for watching.